Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a super exciting video. I recently made a pretty big purchase, and I guess part of it is kind of like a little birthday gift for myself, but it's also to help me improve my channel a lot more, and I'm super excited to unbox this MacBook and set it up for you guys. I do want to say thank you so much just for all of your guys' support because this obviously would not be able to happen without you guys, so thank you guys so much. I am so, so excited to open this up and to be able to use it, so without further ado, let's get started with today's video. First off, I just wanted to say the MacBook that I currently have is a MacBook Pro from like 2020 or 2021. I don't exactly remember which one, but I know it's three to four years old. And obviously that's not super old, but with the type of work that I do on my MacBook, it's just gotten a bit slow and like glitchy. Like whenever I'm editing, it seems like it just starts glitching a lot faster. Also the battery dies so fast. I don't know why that is, but I literally sat down in my living room to edit the other day. The MacBook started at 100% and within like 15, 20 minutes, it was already at like 70 or 60%, which for me just does not work. So I decided it was time for an upgrade. My old MacBook, I believe, was the M1 chip and this new one is the M3. So I'm so, so excited to have the new and more powerful chip. Also, I am trading in my old MacBook, so I will get almost 50% off of this new MacBook by the time the trade-in actually goes through. So that also helps a lot. Here's the new MacBook. I picked it up in the Apple store the other day. I'm so, so excited to open it. I also know you guys like these videos and I haven't done one in a while. So here we are. Just look how beautiful. I literally cannot wait. This MacBook had a decent amount of like options to choose from. Like there's the normal M3 chip, the M3 Pro chip. There was also the 16 inch MacBook and a lot of different like storage options. I personally use my MacBook for both school and work and I've already had the MacBook Pro. So I definitely wanted the MacBook Pro again. I didn't invest in like the M3 Pro chip just because I didn't feel like it was necessary for me. I feel like the M3 chip alone will do great. Also, I got the 14 inch one because I do not think I need a 16 inch. I feel like that's pretty big and and I need it to be mobile. Just to let you guys know, I got the 14 inch MacBook Pro with 512 gigabytes of SSD storage and eight gigabytes of unified memory. And this is the one with just the M3 chip, not M3 Pro. I also got in space gray, which is the color I like. So let's go ahead and unbox it. All right guys, so I have her here. I feel like this is one of my favorite like parts of just getting new technology. It's just being able to open it out of the fresh packaging. Like it just looks so clean, so fresh, and I'm just so excited. So we'll set the laptop to the side for a second. I think at this point we all know what comes in these boxes, but I'll just go through it quick in case you want to see it. First, it comes with this little envelope that just has all the little like information, like manuals and stuff for setting it up. It also comes with two Apple stickers and these ones are black, which are cool. I feel like I've never seen black Apple stickers. I feel like they're always like the clear ones or like the darker white ones or like white or like a dark gray. I've never seen just fully black. So that's really cool. And then it also comes with my little charging cord. This charging cord is like this actual like corded texture. I don't know how well you guys can really see it. It's not like the rubber texture. So like when you bend it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna eventually break, which is so, so nice. Also, it has the like magnetic end for your laptop. So it doesn't like plug into charge. It just magnetically attaches. Also, this is like the color of the laptop. Like it's space gray. It's not white, which so cool. Definitely love the new cord. And then the other end of it is USB-C. And along with that, we have the cube. I don't think they really changed the cube. It's just your basic like Apple MacBook cube with the little thing. Although that felt much more like secure when it's out. Like my other one, I feel like this part is very loose, but this feels like very secure. And then it does have the little USB-C plug-in because that's what the cord is, which also means you can use this like cube to plug in other electronics if they also use a USB-C cord, which is really cool. So if you have like an iPad or even a phone that uses USB-C, which I don't know if there are those cords, you can use this cube as well. And I'm pretty sure this is a nice fast charging cube. So I'm so excited to try this out. And now for the moment, I think we've all been waiting for, here is the new MacBook. Let's go ahead and open it up. And this is what it looks like. So, so sleek and new and fresh and clean. I am so excited to have this. I do have my other MacBook here just for a little reference. Mine's obviously a little bit dirtier and not as clean. Here's what the two look like. I don't know if it's the different lighting, but this gray seems a little darker than this one. They are both space gray. Here's what the backs look like. The front, they are both 14 inch, I believe. The sides look the same, except on the new one, there's two slots over here versus my other one has three. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what those 
those slots are for. I don't really use them. The only slot that I think is very important is obviously the charging one, but also the SD card one so that when I'm editing, I can literally just stick the SD card in here and just put the clips onto my computer without having to use like one of those like transferring port hub things. So, so helpful. But yeah, they removed one of the things here. I don't know what it was for, but it looks so nice and sleek. It doesn't really feel too much heavier than my other one, which is nice. Obviously it is a pro, so it's definitely heavier than like the MacBook Air, but I mean, just look at it. It is so, so cute. I don't think I'm gonna get a case for this or like a screen protector. I don't know if that's just me. I prefer my like MacBook to just be the way it is. I don't really like the cases. I've also heard like those like plastic cases aren't good for your MacBook. And I find I don't need a screen protector because it's like in there, so it's already protected. I do have like a laptop sleeve that I use to transport it, but that's what she looks like. I'm so, so excited to use it, to open it up, set it up and like refresh it for my other one. So I think I'm gonna get started with that process now. All right, so the next step for this MacBook is to transfer the information from my old one to this one, but I don't think I'm completely ready for that because I need to like make sure everything on my old MacBook is like saved and ready to transfer. I'm currently in the middle of editing a video and I don't want that to get mixed up during the transfer from one MacBook to the other. So I think I'm gonna wait to set this up until I finish that video on my original MacBook, which shouldn't take too long. So I'll probably do that later today. So I think I'm gonna wait, get that video edited and then finish transferring everything and then customize this MacBook. So. I'll I'll be back when I do all of that. Hi guys, so it's a few days later. I finished customizing my MacBook and I wanted to come back on here and show you guys what I did to it. I will try my best to show you guys how I customize certain things, but if you have any extra questions, make sure to put them in the description down below. I didn't do too much, but I definitely customized it more than my other one. So I'm really excited to show you everything. All right, so we're starting off here with just my desktop. For the background, I literally just went on to Pinterest and searched Aura or like Aura background or something like that for a desktop. And I just looked through all them. This is the one that I picked. I usually change these up every once in a while, like every few months to kind of base it off of like the season and kind of like the vibes of my life at that time. So this is the one that I picked. I personally like to have my backgrounds more simple, but also not just like a plain color, if that makes any sense. And then over here are my two folders. They are my absolute favorite. When I was transferring my information from my other MacBook, I decided to do more of like a clean transfer, I guess you could say, where basically it transferred like the basic information, but it didn't transfer any like customizations I had for my other one so that I could totally redo it on here. So part of that are these two folders. I've always had two folders, but I decided to make the little like cover of these a Sony Angel and they are so cute. I absolutely love them. So I have my YouTube folder, which just has everything related to like my YouTube stuff in here. So like my channel stuff folder has all of my previous like channel banners, profile pictures, all that kind of stuff. Add-ins are basically extra things that I add into my videos that are more like set in stone, if that makes sense like my outro is the same for every video video clips obviously has all the clips for all my videos to edit which i'm not going to go into because i don't want to spoil any future videos and then finish just has completed videos that i need to put on my external hard drive so that's it for my youtube folder my other folder is my etc folder which is basically every other document i need on here if you want to know how to change one of these icons basically what you're going to want to do is first save like an image of whatever you want to your desktop so let's say i want to do this one open it up Make sure it's a PNG so like it's cut out the way you want it. Command A to select it all and then Command C to copy. And then for the folder that you want it, you're gonna wanna right click on it, click get info. And then you're gonna hover over this little like tiny icon at the top, click that and then click Command V. And that will put in your image. Obviously I just put in the same image so it didn't change but that's how you change your little folder icons. And I just think it is so fun and cute to customize them. So that's what I did. Over here I have two widgets. I personally don't love like a lot on my main like desktop on here. I like to keep it very minimalistic. So I only have two here. First I have this reminders one, which is basically a to-do list. And what's cool about this is it's like interactive. So when I do something, I can just click the check and it like checks it off my list. And then I also just have this calendar one so I can see the day it is like with the whole calendar. I do have the normal date up here, but I kind of like having like the whole calendar there. And those are literally the only two widgets I have. If you want to edit your widgets on your MacBook, basically what you do is you right click on your desktop 
desktop and then click edit widgets and then from there you can choose from all these different widgets to add to your home screen but yeah that's basically it for like the basic home screen and then down here I have my main like dock this is the dock as you can see I have a setting so that it disappears when I'm like not on it just so it's not like taking up space on my desktop and I also have them kind of like magnify when you go over it which I think is fun and I also made the icons a little bit bigger just because I prefer it that way I feel like it looks better so let me just show you the settings that I used for that also another cool thing is I don't know if you guys notice whenever I go into any like application the little widgets go like darker if that makes any sense which kind of makes it more focused on like whatever application you open which I think is cool but anyways for like my controls on here first I went to desktop and dock and then here you can change like the size of these icons down here and like how much they kind of magnify when you hover over it these are the settings that I have and then this is the little thing that I turned on to make it disappear when I'm not like hovering over it right here so if I turn it off it's just like always on here but when I turn it on it only comes up when I hover over it also I did install this little flip clock screensaver on my MacBook I'll preview it for you guys so this is what it looks like it's just a flip clock basically when you're not using your Mac for like a few minutes and it turns off this is what it looks like so this is the one that I installed on my MacBook this is from Flicklo I don't exactly know how to pronounce it but if you literally just Google this there's one that you can download for free for your MacBook and that's the one that I have installed on here another thing that I learned when customizing this is you can actually change the color of your mouse and let me just show you guys how to do it in case you're interested so you go to accessibility over here on the left go to display and then scroll down to pointer and here you can change the colors of your pointer and I don't know if you guys can notice but mine is like ever so slightly different from regular like the outside it looks white but it's actually like a super light purple and then I filled it with a super 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 dark purple which basically looks black and the outline looks white but this is the way you can customize it and you can literally change it to any color that you want also here you can change the size of your pointer like you can make it huge and you can make it tiny I usually have mine like right here and yeah those are basically the little settings that I have for my MacBook if you guys want a more in-depth like what's on my MacBook and like more tutorials for customizing let me know I can make that video separate I truly have been loving this MacBook the battery life on this thing is so much better than my other one I'm able to use it for so much longer I feel like it also works faster and the screen just looks so much like brighter and more crisp if that makes any sense I have been loving it I would highly recommend it to anyone that is thinking about purchasing it once again if you guys have any more questions on customizing or you want a whole different video on like what's on my MacBook let me know I can definitely make that also thank you guys again for just supporting me and for watching my videos obviously I wouldn't be able to do videos like this without your guys' support so thank you so much if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post I do not have a posting schedule I literally will post a video whenever I have it ready but I'm trying to do at least once a week thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you in my next one bye